Good morning. Good morning, my little love bears. My Coco is up early. Coco, it's morning mornings. Coco, you have no makeup on? I'm gonna get coffee. I love Coco, you think that's your brother? Coco, this is your brother babies? This is babies? That's Coco Mini? Who blends in with the little babies? Hmm? Hmm? You thirsty? Is that what you want? Water? Come on, let's go get water. Let's go get water. Come here, baby. What do you want? What do you want? Love some water in the mornings. Then Coco. You thirsty. The thirst is real. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to Vlogmas day three. And I'm gonna do like the quickest makeup you've ever seen. So this is like get ready with me, no time, but like the raw uncut version that you don't see on YouTube. You know all those videos that you see and they're like getting a cup of coffee, they're chilling, they're yawning in bed. Nobody got time. I don't even got time to be talking right now. I'm going to just put on some powder. This is Hello Flawless by Benefit. I have this in the shade All the World's My Stage Beige. So I'm using this brush which I really like. It's the Morphe S119. No, S19. And I'm listening to some... <laughs> Zoom Fast Black Lash. This is the bomb. One coat, girls. One coat. No mascara. Urban Decay Perversion Mascara on top for some blackness. This is so annoying. Oh my god. This Herbal Essence Dry Shampoo. I've had it, I don't know, for a while now, but I've used it maybe twice. And look, nothing. Nothing. I'm going to have to run it under hot water and hope that it works. That's really sucky. It's really unfortunate. <laughs> and it smells so good. Okay, next dry shampoo. I'm going to use this one then. Batiste, Batiste, a hint of color. This one never gets messed up. And it's crazy because the, oh, the reviews on the Herbal Essence all said that the nozzle stopped working. And I was like, girl, no, it don't. Just run it underwater or like, you know, just, I don't know, take care of it. But I haven't even used it. So. Oh, my God. This stuff is awesome. The Batiste one, I love it. I don't really use dry shampoo, I'd rather just wash my hair, but nobody got time. Okay. So let me just brush my hair. Brush. Oh. You guys totally just fell. But my camera's good, so that's what matters. Okay. Going up <laughs> on a Thursday. Got my hair going up on a Thursday. Some lip balm for my chappity chappy lips. Just a little bit in there in mine. I'm vlogging. Trick, take a mascara wand and brush your hair and it sprays. Mm -hmm. 
or you can spray the mascara wand and then fix your hair if you have like little not bald spots but my hair is pretty thin so when I put it up you can kind of see my little bodies there so just hide that real quick and we are basically done and I'm just gonna why does my shirt look like that what is that what's going on here hello it looks weird all right whatever just do my little brows comb them a little comb gloomy gloomy okay. I feel like putting a little highlight on I'm gonna do that I'm gonna be trying this at NYX Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator let me know if you guys like this I got this at Ulta when I didn't get to vlog this is in the color Sunbeam I'm gonna use my fingers and I'm just gonna apply a little bit oh maybe a lot of it let's see how this looks maybe I should get my beauty blender there's no time for all that. All right, let's just blend this out. Okay. All right. Hmm. I kind of like that. Put a little bit down my nose and on. I'll put it on my eyes, on top of my eyebrows. I love putting highlight on top of my eyebrows. It's like instant brow lift. You guys said you like this product mixed in with your foundation. It's a little thick, I would say, but it did give me a nice little glow. I like wearing a highlight when I'm not really wearing that much makeup because I feel healthy. Healthier. Like I'm alive. Just a little more powder. I gotta run to school because I have to print out 40 pages for my class project. Every day I find like 10 napkins and straw things, straw holders in my bag. Gross problems. A little perfume on. This is Dolce by Dolce & Gabbana. I have it in this little automizer by Travelo. Got it on Hope Look. Speaking of Hope Look, I gotta show you guys. They kind of messed up my order, and I'm kind of upset with Hope Look. I still love Hope Look, but this is the first bad experience that I've had. It's not really bad, but I'll show you guys right now. So I ordered these boots on Hope Look, and they were really cheap. They were like $36. So I ordered these boots a long time ago because it takes forever. Actually, maybe like two weeks ago because they're coming from Nordstrom, so they don't take that long. But anyway, I ordered them for like $36, and I ordered the brown ones because they look nice and brown, and I just wanted a brown boot. And when I get there, they're black. And so I thought maybe I ordered the wrong ones, and maybe I was just looking at the picture of the brown, and I ordered black. Nope, my shipping label said brown. I looked online, it was brown. I even called Holt Look, and they were like, yes, you ordered the brown. And I'm like, actually, I got the black. So I got these black ones, and let me see. The brand is Refresh, and I just don't really like them in black. But I'm going to keep them because I don't feel like shipping them back or taking them to Nordstrom. I mean, there's a Nordstrom rack in the city, but they're okay. I mean, for like $35, I just, I like this detail right here where, like, this is your leg, and then there's like a space, and then like a strap. It has a little bit of a heel. For $35, $36, it's really not that big of a deal, but... I really wanted them in brown, so. And they're sold out. I mean, not sold out. The event ended, so I can't even change them. But they were like, oh, you know, we'll send you, like, a shipping label. You, you know, ship it for free. But I just don't feel like dealing with it. So I'm going to keep them and wear them one day. Hopefully someday. <laughs> not today, though. Today I'm going to be wearing flats or something simple because I'm going to go get a pedicure. And I hate wearing boots to the nail salon because you have to, like, take them off and I actually always bring flip flops with me to the nail salon because I will walk out in flip flops and take like a cab or be in car or something because I hate messing up my pedicure no matter how long I wait at the nail salon it's never enough it's never enough 
I um, wanted to just give you a quick sneak peek of my makeup and I would just want you guys to give me like some suggestions on organization because as you can see I have my Alex 9 drawer full of makeup well most of them are full of makeup um, but I have the, this makeup here on my table which are just like the products that I mainly use not every day don't go crazy I don't use this every day I use, a, you know, some of the products, but these are just products that I want to, like, use up and try out and, like, mainly things that I purchased with my own money. All the makeup that I have in there I got for review or for promotion or I've worked with those companies or from events. I got a lot from events. Like, I went to these um, two events in the summer and I got, like, huge bags of makeup. So, a lot of it I gave away to my family. My phone's ringing. I gotta go. But, um, yeah, let me just give you a quick sneak peek and you guys let me know I have all my palettes out don't mind that that usually is not here my palettes are out because when every time I do my makeup I like to just bring out my palettes to see you know what haven't I used what colors haven't I used so let me just show you guys this mirror I get so many questions on it's from a flea market in Florida so my dad got that for me it lights up it's by the brand Conair because when I open it to check the bulbs like to change them it says it's by Conair it doesn't really have a model name but it's like ancient and vintage so 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 I say so too much these are my daily brushes <laughs> not daily when I do eye makeup I'm a stickler for brushes like blending brushes and I just got a whole bunch of stigma brushes I feel like I have so much to tell you guys oh my god my nails are ridiculous okay whatever these are my nude MAC lipsticks there's maybe like two in there that aren't nude but most of them are nude. When I do like a makeup collection video, I'll go through my, you know, lipsticks and stuff. But these are also nude lipsticks. I have some NARS ones, more NARS and stuff like that. I feel like I'm doing a makeup collection video. I'm not. But these are just some palettes that I have out. Lorac Pro is probably my favorite palette. I have Makeup Geek, my brow palette, which I barely use anymore. Barely. And yeah, I have a Z palette. So yeah, this is my makeup. I have all my bronzers here, all of my single MAC shadows and like some whatever stuff there. My highlights, more highlights, primers. Here I have mascara. Uh, these are all like brow stuff and some lip stuff. Some more bronzers, some more MAC products, my lip pencils, face stuff. So that's that. Then over here, I have this little lipstick container or lip gloss container from By Allegory. I have some powders that I still have to like find some storage for and this I think I'm what I'm gonna do is get rid of this and get a bigger kind of short cube like that like a, an acrylic makeup storage but something longer so I can store like most of this in that instead of having it all just kind of out like I got those containers like these and these from Target um, they're caboodles you can get them online, um, but that's just one caboodle. Then I have all my lashes in there, which I never feel like I have enough lashes. I'm, like, so cheap with my lashes. I don't even want to use them because I feel like I'm going to run out. Is that bad? Okay, but, yeah, I have in there, like, little utilities. And then those are some face brushes that I use on the daily. I mean, those are my foundations, mainly. I got Maybelline. I got some Maybelline L'Oreal. YSL, Giorgio Armani, back there I have primers and some illuminators, and then I have all of my skin, no, not, yeah, skin care, hair care mixture, and then here, obviously, okay, I got some coffee, because I need it, my mom actually just brought that in, <laughs> isn't that so cute, look at that mug, so cute, um, yeah, those are just lipsticks that I don't know, I don't know what to do, because I want to keep these, because they're like, they're not expired. These are pretty new. Some of these I don't use, like some MAC ones, but I just keep them because they were like limited edition. Maybe I should put them somewhere else and not have them like out on display if I'm not using them. But then it's like, why am I even keeping them? I should just like back to MAC them and get some nudes. Like, I, I don't know. But yeah, these are my Gerard. And the, I want to put these somewhere else because I like barely go for them because they're back here when I do my makeup all the way over there so I tend to just go for those MAC ones because they're in my face but yeah I have a lot of stuff in my room look like I have a lot okay it looks like crammed up but it's just because you know New York City apartment you know what I'm saying but yeah this looks really crazy just clutter and it's 
pissing me off because I want to fix it. But I'll just give you a quick sneak peek. A sneaky peeky. This is one drawer. Ooh, it's full. <laughs> All right, I got to go. I'm late. I'm late, I'm late. I gotta go, I gotta go. Gotta put on my... No, not flip-flops. I'm gonna put on some flats. Alright, bye. Okay, so I totally underestimated the weather. It's freezing outside. And I have on, like, the lightest sweater, the lightest jacket, and flats, and really thin leggings. I, like, live in leggings, especially the Victoria's Secret pink ones. I love them. They don't say pink on them or anything. They're just black leggings, but... I'm walking to the train. I'm, like, running... But um, yeah, I'm freezing. I will be doing a meetup in Cali for sure. Like that's a for sure thing. I know when I went to Miami, I was gonna try, but this is, I'm going to California to like meet you guys, seriously, and to go to IMAX to meet you guys. So I'm really blessed and I ordered my ticket yesterday. It was actually relatively affordable. Okay, there's like more people around here. They're totally staring at me like, what is she doing? But I'm just gonna play the tourist role. For the rest of the month, I am a Taurus, and who cares what anyone has to say, right? I don't, so I'm gonna be vlogging, girl. But I gotta be careful before someone bumps up to me. I wanna buy a new vlogging camera, but I should have done that like Black Friday. I'm gonna get the Sony Nexus, I think it's called, but I only like Canons, but I think it's Sony Nexus. It has like a viewfinder that flips up. But I definitely have to go get more SD cards and a new lens for my camera. So maybe I'll take you guys along if I do that tomorrow. Alright, bye guys. something to the chair and, and he was acting really suspicious he was just like with his phone just lighting up the, the chair and then he just like ran out and he had like a huge bag it looked like a medical bag I think he had like a face mask on not a face mask but like you know those um medical masks so maybe he was like a nurse or someone studying like you know different diseases and bacteria but it was just strange he was just like this or like taking swabs of the chair and I'm just sitting here like uh should I be sitting like what's going on you know like I want to be informed all right it's probably really loud um I will see you guys in a little bit Bye -bye. and we're going local for no apparent reason good to know Coco you're ready to eat you ready for your lunch dinner that's your foodsies Papush, you ready for food where's Elmo where's Elmo that's your friend? Hey baby, let me sit, okay? So here is my lunch, I guess you can say. So rice with chicken. I actually didn't eat breakfast, so this is brunch. But they gave me way too much chicken. I'm probably going to eat like half of one and rice. And yep, I'm going to grub on. I'm hungry. Okay, so my mom's opening it for me. Because <laughs> she's excited, I guess. <laughs> I don't know where it's from. Box. What is this? Thank you. Oh, brushes. The order of a casa beauty Mi casa casa brushes. Essential kit. Ten piece kits. Let's see. Ugh, they sent it to me. It's for reviews. Let's like. Ugh. Okay, I still have my bag on. Huh? Okay, comes with a brush holder like the Luxie Lush one. <laughs> <laughs> and let's see. Let's see. Okay, 
They kind of look like a Morphe one. Let's open this. I heard of that Morphe. It's a famoso. Let's see. These are high end professional brushes. Alright, so I'm opening this one. Ooh, it's soft. I like these. Okay. Very nice. All right. Nope. Okay. You know from where they're from? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Okay. It says it on here. Oh. Yay. And I got another package. Let's go see. Let's go see. Oh. You got scared. <laughs> What's that, Coco? What's that? 